fearless with God. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. Join me for the next few minutes as we reflect on God's word and leverage the power of prayer. Whenever men reject the Savior's invitation, they are yielding themselves to Satan. Multitudes in every department in life, in the home, in business, and even in the church are doing this today. It is because of this that violence and crime have overspread the earth and moral darkness like the blight of death enshrouds the habitations of men. Through his specious temptations, Satan leads men to worse and worse evils till utter depravity and ruin are the result. The only safeguard against his power is found in the presence of Jesus. Before men and angels, Satan has been revealed as man's enemy and destroyer, and Christ as man's friend and deliverer. His spirit will develop in man all that will ennoble the character and dignify the nature. It will build man up for the glory of God in body and soul and spirit. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. Are you allowing God to give you a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind? Then pray that we as a people will not only hear the word of God, but will also seek God's power in the presence of Jesus transforming us to be like him. Pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in our lives so that we will not have the spirit of fear, but power, spirit of love, and a sound mind. Pray that we will obtain God's glory so that we may obtain his character and become more conformed to his image. Pray for former members to be led by the Holy Spirit back to the truth. Pray for the evangelistic series in Barbados. Pray our church members will model Christ's method of mingling with the people in the communities. And lastly, pray for the 1,010 campaigns in Honduras. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for another day. Thank you for always being there for us, Lord. We ask that you help us not to be fearful, but to trust in you, Lord. Be with those members, Lord, who have wandered away from you, Lord, ask that you lead them back to truth, Lord. Also, Lord, I pray for the evangelistic series in Honduras, Lord. I pray that it be successful and will touch the lives of many. And lastly, Lord, we ask that you forgive us of our sins and help us to be a beacon of hope to others and to shine for you. In your name I pray. Amen. Thanks for tuning in. Join us tomorrow where we'll focus on letting go and letting God. But before you go, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and follow us on all our social media platforms at Shortwood SDA Church. Do have a blessed day.